Stop. Hey, Vlog. Hi. We're back. Right there. But what about when the door swings open? Where has that thing there? Uh, just things. Okay. I don't. I like it. I can even raise it. It doesn't have to be on the floor. Just so that I can see my full body. Mm -hmm. Here's good? Mm hmm. Hmm? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can still see it from inside of the. Inside of here. Yeah. Inside the closet. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. And I'm in the closet right now. But um, we just dropped off, well not just, we dropped off Asher this morning to my, to me, to daycare. We went to my mom's house to pick up this mirror because she gave it to us. Um, and we're gonna use it in the bathroom, actually. But Curtis thinks that we should have a mirror right here outside of the closet or over there near that area but i think the over at the closet's good but we could see like kind of ish what do you think let me see this is nice too mm, I was about to say. <laughs> this Especially because the lighting, right? Yeah. From the window. I think this looks good. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we were pretty much gone all day. We went to Ikea. Um, we went and got another kid's chair because the three kids can't sit on the one table. There's only two chairs. So we bought one more chair. So I'm going to set that up. Yeah, we're going to hang up this mirror in the bathroom because currently we have two separate mirrors. But we like having one big mirror our last house we had one big mirror as well in our bathroom so we think that looks better you know okay so yeah in the bathroom it was two separate mirrors this was one and then the other one is here this is the other mirror that was on the other side but we're gonna take it down and put the bigger mirror. Um, this week in general, Curtis and I plan to get a lot of the house stuff done. So like the backyard patio area because it's getting warm outside. So we know people are gonna be crazy with buying up stuff for their backyards and stuff. We don't wanna miss out on that, okay? And what else? The powder room downstairs, I think we're gonna lime wash the walls because we were thinking of doing wallpaper in the powder room but now we're gonna do the lime wash effect and like some greenery thing that we saw we actually saw it in chick-fil-a just now and then curtis is like oh i wonder if we could do this in our bathroom so that's gonna happen and i don't know what else other stuff too but you guys will see everything yeah you can um level it yeah thing I know it's empty oh Asher is getting a new bed right yeah yep. Asher is getting a new bed so his room is gonna look a little different the powder room where else powder room the backyard mm -hmm. living room but the living room will be what last yeah so anyways you guys will see that um to be honest I don't have anything really to vlog today because I need to edit last week's vlog today so i just want to show you guys that because i always forget to show you guys stuff that's happening even this wall i didn't even get to show you guys but it's not fully installed yet but um i didn't even show you guys this at all but when it gets um 
like screwed in or secured i should say i'll show you guys that too but i will be i will be back because yeah i need to go edit good morning welcome back so i i've been awake for a few hours now already it's been a good morning actually i got so much like um I've been feeling really motivated this morning actually of course you guys know i like to make pancakes i made my pancakes got my iced coffee and then i finished i finished reading john like i was in chapter 15 and i said you know i'm just gonna read lice i think i was actually in 14. i read 14 i read 15 and then i said okay i'll read 16 and then i said you know what let me just dedicate the rest of my hour and just finish because i feel like i wasn't done like when i got to like 16 17 i was like I want to continue reading but um i just finished john i can't wait to start reading acts but i've been reading old testament and new testament at the same time like a book of old testament book of new testament book of old testament book of new testament which i i do like because there's some stuff that um i learned in old testament and then when reading a, when reading about it in new testament i was like oh okay so anyways whatever i don't have a problem with it but you know i wanted to go I, I originally when i started reading the bible i read genesis first and genesis was really like i love i love genesis i really and truly do love genesis like i would like i'm i'm excited to reread it again when that time comes but but genesis was really really like that really had me on fire okay like couldn't wait to get home to read uh, couldn't wait to get in bed to read like i just i love genesis so 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 much but yeah anyways finish john so so happy about that i'm gonna move on to deuteronomy tomorrow or tonight maybe tomorrow to be honest i think i told you guys i'm gonna paint the powder room downstairs i'm going to do the lime wash effect again we are we did it in our lounge room I don't know if I showed you guys, but I'm going to show you guys right now. I filmed myself lime washing the wall downstairs um, in the lounge area, but I didn't I didn't really like talk you guys through it or anything, but I will in a second. But like I said, this morning I was feeling very motivated. I got up, I read and I said, you know what? Let me start cleaning the house. Like literally it was like just as soon as I finished reading John, I jumped up and I said, I'm going to start cleaning this house like cleaning like stuff that i kind of avoid i'm gonna do it today like i took up the the gas grill scrubbed it down cleaned this cleaned that mop mopped everywhere whatever everything and i came upstairs to do the same thing but i'm like oh i didn't even talk to you guys today but um yeah it just while i was cleaning i was thinking about like the fact that i actually do like cleaning like yes there are times when it's annoying and i'm like oh i don't want to do this but i cannot i do not feel settled in my spirit when the house is not clean i really don't it really disturbs me when my house is not clean and it doesn't matter where i've ever lived it doesn't matter what circumstance it's ever been like i always have to have it neat and clean and things put away organized in order it doesn't matter like my mom can attest to this and she's the exact same way and it used to be annoying to me when I was a kid right it was annoying to me as a kid but we still did it like we were like the five-year-olds getting up spreading our bed ironing our clothes like I'm not even joking like six seven years old grade one grade two I used to get up and be ironing my school clothes before I go to school and I think Caribbean people are I think Caribbean people are like that in general not really in north america but in actually in the caribbeans like specifically my background is jamaican in jamaica i know that's normal like to iron out your uniform before you go to school and stuff like that fine but here it's not so like normal you know so um yeah i was literally that kid like get up spread my bed change my sheets even i used to vacuum my room sweep up my room stuff like that as a child okay and i'm still the same way like it doesn't feel good if i come out if i wake up and just leave everything as is like it doesn't feel good right but i as i got older i and i used to think everybody was like that too but as i got older i realized like okay maybe my mom was just more strict or something i don't know whatever but i'm gonna do me regardless right but now i also understand what stewardship means and being a good steward of the things that god blesses you with and also being a good steward even no matter what circumstance he puts you in right so 
I remember like a few years ago, one of my friends said to me, uh, and it was so random. I think she was at my house and I was like tidying something up. And then she said to me, um, don't you feel, aren't you, no, she said, aren't you happy that you were raised to be so tidy, right? And I didn't, I didn't think of it like that. Like, I wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm happy that I was raised this way kind of thing. Those words were imprinted in my mind. And it never left me because even as I'm cleaning, I'm like, oh, like, you know, I think about what she said to me. But now that I know about stewardship, OK, it all makes sense and it all ties in because, like I said, you need to you have to be a good steward of the things that you're blessed with. No matter what, it, it, whether it's something small or something big, you know, God's not going to trust you with a lot if you can't take care of a little. OK, so that's something to remember. Take care of what you have, no matter what you have. If it's a little thing, take care of it prune it, clean it, you know, repair it, you know, just take care of the stuff you have. It doesn't matter what you have, where you are at, what your circumstance like, and it doesn't even mean material stuff too, even like relationships, whatever he's given you, take care of it. That's what I really wanted to come on here this morning and say. Yeah, I'm doing so much things at once right now, but I'm about to get ready to leave the house, but I just want to make sure some things were done before I go um but what i am doing right now i'm gonna show you guys real quick before i leave painting the powder room so this is the powder room the ceilings are really really high in here but um i'm taping off the walls i'm taping off the you know i'm taping it up so that the paint doesn't get all over the place on the ba baseboards i'm gonna tape up here as well and up here I'm going to take down this mirror, but I'm going to lime wash this powder room. So it won't be like this anymore. And like I was saying, but like I was saying with the lime wash effect, I did the lime wash effect in this room, actually. But this is like the little lounge room. So I'm going to have two chairs here that are coming from Structube, but they're back order. So this is just here from the old house. But I did the lime wash effect on this wall. But at first I did it like a, a grayish kind of stone color and I didn't like it and then I added some green on top of it for some reason me and Curtis wanted like a minty green kind of lime wash so anyway anyway I'm gonna go I think we have a delivery at the door but I gotta go did not think I was gonna do I woke up today like I'm not painting this bathroom today and I still can't believe I'm painting it today let me close the sink pro tip pro tip make sure the sink is clogged I mean closed before you do anything like this because then the screws might fall into the sink and guess what they'll be gone forever I say any work you're doing with screws near the sink close up the sink Unless you have extra screws, but yeah. And what I also like to do so that I really don't lose the screws is I take some tape. I put the screws there and I take tape and I tape over it. So now the screws are stuck in there. Okay, because when you lose these screws, it's really annoying. So change of plans. I'm actually staying home. Curtis went to drop off the um, oils to the studio for me so that I could start painting in here and not have to delay the process any further. So I just finished um, taping everything up in here. These fixtures needed to come off, but we couldn't find the Allen key that we need to take them off. So I'm going to have to just be careful, I guess. OK, so what I'm going to use to do this lime wash is this Benjamin Moore paint. Sorry, that's a French side. I'm using this Benjamin Moore paint. It's interior matte paint. and the name i don't know the color like whatever this is the color oh dusty miller this color i picked because as you can see it kind of had like a greeny grayish color but it really came out more like a cement which will be nice in the bathroom but i didn't want it for the lounge area so i'm going to show you guys how you can do this lime wash effect um with regular paint and this is a six inch 
brush. You can probably even use a four, but I use a six. It made it very quick and fast. That's kind of how it looks. I don't know. You can. It looks more grayish, to be honest. Um, but anyway, so you don't need a lot. I'm just gonna pour maybe this much. I'm not gonna put a lot. I'm not gonna put a lot at all because you mix it with water, so you don't want to really use too much. Now the amount of water, I don't know what to tell you guys, but I need to use something to mix it. Okay, I'm just going to use this plastic spoon, but you want to add some water to it and kind of mix, mix, mix. Now the thing is you don't want it too watery either. Like kind of watery, but kind of thicker than watery, if that makes sense. <laughs> And you really want to make sure that the water is mixed through. Because once you add the water, it's going to kind of get, I mean, once you start to mix it, it gets a little bit thick again. Another thing I'd recommend is having a rag with you. So I have this rag with me. I'm gonna bring this into the bathroom. Okay, let's go. Okay, I made this too thin. If you notice, it just literally looks like I'm actually painting. Let me show you guys real close. This is not the effect you want. You don't want it to be so solid. So I'm gonna put some more paint because I don't like when it has that like kind of watercolor consistency on the wall. I like it on the thicker side than the thinner side. I think they say like 80% paint, 20% water. 70 or 80 percent paint and the rest water oh. so i'm not adding any more to the brush i'm just using this kind of dry brush to you know kind of create the effect like it's not adding more paint on and i like to use this to kind of you know i'm literally using the dry parts and picking up paint from there. Okay, so you can kind of see that the effect is already starting, especially once the paint starts to dry. It gets that lime wash effect. I don't know if I can, if you guys can really see. Let me go back in this washroom. 
Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what in here looks like after. because Asher got sick. He was, he didn't have a cough or anything or any nose or nothing like that. He literally just had a fever and not just a fever, like really high fever, like 104 type fever. So I'm looking for lip gloss. 
and I can't find any. But anyway, we're back though. He's feeling better today, but he has to stay home from daycare because um, I told them that he was not feeling well yesterday. So they're like, oh yeah, he has to wait 24 hours. So he has to stay home today, which is not a problem. I like when he's home. Today is Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday and we're up. I just made my favorite pancakes. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop by the studio really quickly, and I'm going to also I'm gonna stop by the studio really quick. But Curtis wants it to be a family day today because he's home today. So and Asher's home today too. So we're gonna go to the mall, and we might buy like a patio set as well because he's downstairs measuring out the patio because it's nice today. So you know when it's nice outside, people get in a little mood okay so i'm gonna go downstairs and see i'm gonna go downstairs and see what's up also you guys seen us put asher's bed together yeah so we need to figure out a situation in this room because it's just so plain at the moment don't mind it's a little bit messy right now but we need to figure out what's going on in his room because the walls are so plain and whatever but i do have a plan like plan for in here and a plan for his bed it just has to come together and don't mind his drawers all open but yeah i have these three pictures that i want to put here i actually made them myself either right here or on this wall with his bed i'm not 100 percent sure yet something's gonna have to happen in here because it's so plain all right so i feel my face is dry too honestly everything about me is dry um but i feel like my skin is looking really good oh that's why it's dry I washed my face with the I washed my face with the um, philosophy micro daily exfoli exfoliator or something. Curtis is upstairs with his dad, so that's why it's so loud. But um, yeah, I washed my face with the micro exfoliator. I used to use that all the time, and then I stopped. But smooth, it looks so smooth, and it's super dry because I didn't moisturize after. Some milk a little bit of milk or how you feeling come i'll hold it so i'll put it just right here okay okay so that was a quick start to the morning we literally just had to quick time get ready because asher was balling down the place for no reason but we just pulled up to an outdoor furniture place it's a ard factory showroom to look at some furniture that we want to go outside our our deck isn't that big but you guys probably can't see me but our deck is not that big I'll show you guys where we're going it's too it's a little bit too sunny outside i'm gonna have to just talk to you guys inside okay never mind one of the sets in here they were trying to say it was eleven thousand dollars and it literally didn't look like eleven it, there's no there's no way it could be 11 so anyways we're gonna dip out of here <laughs> wait yeah we're not we're not doing it on the network and where did it get me i can show you some things i was looking at that you look like 11 no that are like <laughs> way better like way modern like something that you'd find at like the thompson hotel for like three grand i'm just like even that's you know yeah, they were trying to show. And I wish like, I, I was showed like you guys. Like the 1500 range, but I should have been recording honestly. But I was from he said, "Oh yeah, this is 7300." We were like, like no, that it can't it be. Like the, like one of the ones that you just buy could like it's not like you know what I mean. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace type. The only thing is, like, yes, they were right about the cushion, but the cushion can't make it cost thousands yeah, exactly. and thousands of dollars more. I'd rather just buy new cushions. The style itself, like the actual style of the... I promise you, maybe if I could find some pictures and stuff, I'll put some, but those were not nowhere near... He's like, what do you 11, say? 11,000. He's like, oh, this is 73,000. Um, no, 7,300. I mean, what am I trying to say? 7,300, but we have it for 30% off. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, where are we going now? Oh, we should go home? What do you think, Ash is? Okay. I don't know. Okay, our issue right now is that 
we brought Asher out too close to his nap time, so he's being miserable in the car, and then he fell asleep for like 15 minutes, and now here we are driving again. So I feel like he's gonna fall asleep again, but it's kind of not fair, you know? Okay, so we're back home. Um, the morning has been kind of a rushy fail because we because we wanted to leave this morning and go on the road amateur behavior the thing is we know better we know better but we thought we could have just brought him on the road with us before his nap but what ended up happening is it was too close to his nap time so by the time we got on the road he was starting to fall asleep but it wasn't a long car ride so he was kind of miserable like he fell asleep for like 10 minutes woke up so yeah then we went somewhere else it was like another 10 15 minute drive he fell asleep for like five minutes woke up so he was so miserable um so we're like honestly let's just go home and um let him sleep and then we'll go back on the road but and the reason why we didn't put this off till tomorrow is because tomorrow the two um seats that i ordered from structube in february they're finally getting delivered tomorrow so i'm not trying to be on the road at all tomorrow but anyway so we decided to just we decided to just come home because what's the point in him being miserable on the road we're gonna let him sleep and then we're gonna go back on but like i said that furniture place was wild i forget the name of it but it's not even worth mentioning because they were trying to say like over seven thousand dollars for a small patio set like the patio set where we need the dimensions that we need like we told them and what they were quoting was like so crazy 7300 11 000. Mm -mm. anyway with that being said with that being said we're trying to really get all of our home um improvement type stuff together like the decoration and everything we need a bench and a mirror for the front door we're doing the living room area like this blank wall here is getting done um the tv's gonna go on that side anyway you guys will see when that time comes but even our bedroom like curtis got an idea for the bedroom so that's gonna be in motion this week because curtis's dad is gonna do it but it's gonna kind of look like how i want the living room so i had the same idea for the living room but curtis wants that same idea for the bedroom so yeah anyways you guys will see what we're talking about and asher's room needs to get done too so there's a lot to get done we need like pictures all over the house we need so many things but we have the time to do it so but anyways right now i'm gonna open up this um order from hello fresh it's not sponsored we ordered this ourselves coming up with something to eat all the time is annoying and also going grocery shopping every two seconds is annoying and i don't know just thinking of something to make and then anyways i just thought that this would have been a better solution because the way these grocery prices are really set up it's so insane so anyways if it's not for a while like maybe even for a little while because yeah so we are starting that so i'm gonna see how it goes i wish it was sponsored but it's not but maybe it will be okay so i don't have a promo code or anything for you guys <laughs> but you know you never know um curtis is the one who picked out the meals curtis doesn't eat pork and one of these meals are pork so i think he made a mistake what is this we got this spinach rigatoni this one is a greek style lemon pepper pork meatballs it looks like this there's a honey garlic turkey noodles with snow peas one pan and orzo pesto baby tomato what i'm nervous about this one still this isn't my first time doing like meal kit type or meal dinner kit type um stuff if you guys remember remember my vlogs from before i used to do the what is it chef's plate meals and that was good that was good for a while we stopped doing it but it was good and then the meat comes in here but it comes frozen so it's in here with these freezer packs oh ground beef is this a ground beef wait oh it's beef instead okay one of them said um pork meatballs and i'm like curtis would never order this oh okay so never mind curtis 
Okay, Curtis substituted the pork meatballs for the for the ground beef. Um, this is the turkey. Everything already comes portioned out, so I think that's what makes it make so much sense that everything's already pre-portioned. You're not wasting any groceries, and everything is exact. Each of these bags here is four servings, so even though it's mainly me and Curtis, like Asher might not eat it. Uh, we can have dinner and lunch okay so yeah and it's not like we have to eat them every day like we can substitute and do something else like switch it up like with what we have already but at least we don't have to think about anything you don't know which one you want to do i think i know which one i think i want to do the hold on i said i was nervous about this one to see how it comes out because it says one pan so like you cook it all in one pan oh yeah Right? And ozo, or, orzo, tomatoes. I think orzo is, I think it's like a pasta ricey type thing, is it? Mm, it's like a wet rice on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty different. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I want to do the, because you know I like the yogurt sauce type stuff. Oh, that has a yogurt sauce? Yeah. Look. Can you see it? You know, I, all, I love, oh, I, didn't I, know, I, didn't I know love, that. I'm, it's because. Oh yeah, of, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't <laughs> no, know you didn't. It. Whatever. <laughs> It's because of chef's plate why i like the yogurt sauce i'm gonna um put all this away and yeah and then we're just gonna wait for asher to wake up and we'll be on the road okay so in the meantime i'm gonna start editing this video actually because i always take so long to edit because it's so mundane yeah i'm gonna just start editing little by little from now and also i think tomorrow while while asher is gone i'm gonna do a bit of self-care i washed my hair yesterday yeah i washed my hair yesterday um I pretty much wash it weekly, like every Sunday. But tomorrow I wanna do like a face mask. I want to also probably do my nails tomorrow as well myself. You guys know I like to, I like to. I really do prefer doing my nails myself. So I wanna do my nails tomorrow. I also want to do, I might do my lashes too. So I wanna do a facial. I want to do, um, what else? facial i want to do a scrub i want to do my nails but um yeah so i'm gonna get down to business here because i want this to be done asap it's 3 33 right now i think asher will sleep for one more hour and then we're gonna go on the road okay you wake up have good nap? Oh, you have good nap? You have good nap? You feel kind of cold there. Okay, Asher is up now, so I think we can go now. It's 4, 7, 4 14 right now, so yeah, I thought he would have <laughs> slept until 4 30, but 4 15 isn't bad. Gotta get the show on the road, right? <laughs> okay. Beep beep. Beep beep. We're at Rona looking at patio stuff. And even already, like this three piece situation, even though we we wouldn't get this anyway. But whatever, just comparison, this is eight ninety nine. Not, like 11, no, not no 11,000. Maybe we should look more on this side over, over here. Maybe we should look more over there too. Beep beep. Kirby, the they, sell, the they sell the cushions. Oh, nice. I'm hunting that, you know. Our, all of our cushions blew away at the old house. <laughs> Stop. Maybe. Yeah, no. 
we're more looking for like the sectional type. This egg is cool. Okay. This is cute. I'm sick. I don't know if I just want to get it. Blackstone. I've been seeing this on TikTok, guys. So I told Curtis about it. And he's liking the Blackstone concept. The only thing is, there's no, um, like, grill parts. That's the part I don't like. But you can pretty much cook everything on this. Like, even breakfast, I see people cooking. Is this a different Blackstone? It's Baker Stone. Baker Stone? Okay, Baker Stone. Does a Blackstone people maybe own it? It has a grill part, Kirby. Oh, but it has the part for the pizza, I guess. This is kind of cool. You better make pizza every day with this. Ooh. Oh, Kirby, Curtis. Curtis, come look. So it has the grill part, pizza part. And look, you could put the, the flat grill on it. Yeah, this is a this is pretty good because you have the option to do everything. The only thing I me already my brain is going towards like spiders in there. This is another thing that we'll need and we are not even aware. Lawn mowers. Yeah. Let me stop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're gonna go into the garden center now. Yeah, I wanna do some garden type stuff. I have no clue what I'm even looking for. I have no clue what I even want it to look like. Oh, I kind of think I do see something though. Are you trying to escape? What are you doing? Excuse me. I'm gonna have to watch some TikToks though and see what, like, get some ideas, okay? Because honestly, TikTok is the new Google for me. I don't even bother Googling anything anymore. I just go on TikTok. <laughs> These ones come curved already, so. Oh, nice. You can oh, yeah, you can do some curve. Oh, I guess you just buy whatever you need to curve around. Then that means you really need to know what you're doing. Which I don't. Well, not technically not, but it's like you can return it, but you don't want to go back and That's true. Nope. Or so we're looking for a mirror for in our bedroom. You guys remember at the beginning of this video, but I think we're gonna go with this one, maybe the gold, or we have the black. What do you think? It's black. I think gold. Gold. Okay. I kind of think gold. I like it. Okay. Yeah. You like it, Ashley? Okay, so we have a mirror for the bedroom, which is what we wanted. Mirrors I find at HomeSense are much better. So we'll look around some more at whatever else. This is nice. This kind of couch is cool too, but that, this like, this would get dirty. Huh? Mm. You can't come out, sorry. I like it too. I like this rug though. It, it's double sided. This is so cool, this rug. It's like you don't really see stuff like this in anybody's house anymore. This with that rug? What would my mom do? FYI, my mom would buy it. I think her living room is so cool right now. It's not my type, but it's cool. Really, really cool. If she lets me show it, which I know she won't, I will. I was talking about for downstairs. Okay. Or do you want to take the, the black okay. curved one oh, for downstairs? Oh, but this one's damaged. Look. Oh. It is 8.17 and 
Asher is taking a bath with Curtis right now. Well, Curtis is giving Asher a bath, I should say. So yeah, I'm just gonna start dinner actually because I'm kind of hungry, kind of not hungry. When did I eat last? Because I don't really feel that hungry. I think I just ate lunch and that's why I don't feel hungry. I'm telling you, I don't usually feel hungry. I'm not, like I'm more snack. I don't really eat. We got two mirrors today. Um, the arch mirrors that I showed you guys. So we got one gold one, one black one. The black one we're gonna put downstairs, down here. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna put it down here in the um, entryway. And then the gold one will go in our bedroom. We also went to Structube. Asher was starting to act like real, mm, like on the floor, mm, okay? So I was like, we need to leave. So we got a bench from Structube. Um, it's a black bench. So you guys are gonna see that tomorrow. I needed some picture frames for Asher's bedroom because I said I'm gonna put the pictures up, right? I got this pack of three picture frames, like wooden frames, which is what I wanted. Yeah, I got this pack of three for $39. So yeah, I'm going to order his pictures tonight. Um, if you guys don't remember when we first first moved into our last house, maybe I don't know if I'll find a clip I probably won't but all of the pictures from our last house I just bought the digital prints off of Etsy for like two three dollars and then I uploaded them onto the Staples website and got them printed um, as a poster and I put them in the picture frames so I'm just gonna do that um, for Asher's bedroom because I actually made the pictures for Asher's bedroom myself. Let me show you real quick. It, I made it on Canva because to be honest, you guys can do so much. There's so much that you guys can do on your own for free, okay? If I could print these pictures myself, I would, but I don't have a printer. Do I have, is my printer that quality though? I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but whatever. So that's how it's looking. Anyway, enough chatting. I'm gonna make dinner now. We're gonna do the Greek style lemon pepper substitute pork for beef meat meatballs with buttery orzo. I've never had orzo before, so I'm kind of nervous, but it is it a grain? It kind of looks like a huge rice grain. Soften up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And have a weight upon the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher Higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her So it's done, okay. Never had something like this before. Okay, let's just try it. My battery's about to die, so we're gonna just try Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay, let me I like try the it. the texture of the rice noodle or whatever it is. I almost choked. Yeah, I've never had orzo before. It's a, they said it's a green. It almost tastes like a, uh, pasta version of rice. The meatball taste. Mmm. I'm gonna try to be like. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Just squeeze the lemon wedge. I think all I would add is something to the orzo. Like what? Like maybe a little salt. And then take that. Pepper. Garlic seasoning. Because it's said to add the garlic butter to it. And the lemon zest. Mm -hmm. I do taste the lemon zest. I would have never zested a lemon. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so anyways, battery's dead. Camera's overheating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You're interrupting my work, guy. Are you, doing, are you making a bench? Are you putting together the bench? Yo, school time. School time. Okay, let's go so I can clean up your face. Finish eating, please. Come on, sure. Okay, come, let's go. Dada's using it, okay? We have to leave now. I said, oh my goodness. How, how do you know they're worse? You Tell me. <laughs> so I'm sorry the dance is. Yeah. Okay, so I'm back home. The day isn't going as planned, actually. Um, this morning I got up, brought Asher to daycare. I had to go to my mom's house. I think I told you guys I was gonna do that this morning. But then I went to get some supplies for the salon, like toilet paper, paper towel, those type of things. Brought them, folded towels, etc. Our parking situation at the salon too kind of changed because they blocked off the parking lot because they're doing construction now. So you guys saw me having to put everything in the cart and bring it in. But um, anyway, whatever. Then I was there for a while and I came home. I ate my leftover Hello Fresh, and poof, now it's like, what time? It's 2.18, okay? So, um, but yeah, I came home. The Structube order had came. Curtis put together the bench this morning. I'll show you guys in a second, but this needs to be opened up. I've been waiting months for this, okay? We still have to take this couch out of here, this situation. I'm gonna pick up Asher's um By the way, this is like the best thing. It folds, it's a mat, like a play mat. It's a foam play mat actually, so yeah. Asher can play on this, do whatever 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 if you guys saw my easter vlog this is what was on the ground why the floor didn't get wet during the water table play it just folds up that's it we have to move this downstairs no the this um. couch I saw it I'm like we have to have this in this room because it's like I just wanted in here to be like that cozy loungy area like even the kids could come and play in here like you know and I didn't want um I wanted something nice and big but different like not like a typical seat something a little different something cushy cozy you know cozy was the vibe in here and multifunctional because this is literally where the kids come and play so yeah okay i'm just gonna screw this the just screwing in the legs i am so excited <laughs> And this type of color is so out of, it's not really out of my 
comfort zone i did do the whole like cool tone whole house cool tone like the last house everything was cool toned you know i still love a good white but i'm gonna show you guys my canva my mood board and what ended up coming about in this room okay okay so this is the cushion part of it and it can literally go any direction like you can rest it here you can rest it back here oh you can rest it back here you can turn it this way if you want you can turn it this way if you want i don't know it's such a cool thing but it's because this back part is like this like it it, it just stops right there like comfy cozy you know but i'm gonna open up this one and then i'll show you guys how it looks in here after i set up the second one we want something to go in the center here too like a I don't know something to go there like a little side table and yeah but these are so beautiful they have these in so many colors but they're all back order so they have these in like even green green um white black gray light gray whatever so many colors now i could fully get in here in order we do have this lamp over here like i showed you guys curtis did this or picked this i should say and yeah Okay, so, yeah. Hi everyone, okay, so we're in Ikea. <laughs> Very impromptu, we didn't plan to come here, but Curtis said he wanted to come here and I have a very whiny baby with me. I literally had to go back to the car for his pacifier. I told you guys we're weaning him off, but when he got sick, um, we gave it back. And now he's stuck all over again. So he was balling on the place in here. We had to literally leave and get it out the car. I think this is cute. It's like little clouds for Asher's bedroom. Full, full and clean. I think, I think I like this. Your dad's coming. You couldn't really be crying for your dad like that. Okay. Also, this blanket is actually what I came for. Let me tell you guys, Asher was embarrassing me in the bedding department. I had to stop vlogging because Curtis was still downstairs and I was in the bedding. He was screaming out for Curtis like I couldn't. I was like, I have to go. A little bit later on in the evening <laughs> oh my gosh i feel so tired but um we went to ikea it was not planned always 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 shop in the as is section okay because you will find so much like good things there and at a good price so i ended up getting this um footstool i told curtis i wanted to get like a like an ottoman or something to put in here and i think this one is good because you can put like uh, magazines or books in there and it serves as a footrest as well because what is it yeah footrest with storage and this rattan um type look is very much on trend so it was supposed to be a hundred dollars it was 60 so that is a good price like 40 dollars saving so yeah literally could rest your foot on it i personally wanted to go there because there was a blanket that i want for asher's bedroom this is the blanket it's so cute i i don't know it was really nice actually so that's the pattern of it right there since we're doing his room right now i'm starting to get like a few things but we have his we have a duvet for his bed duvet cover is coming tomorrow got his blanket pillow cases i bought today hi i bought his pillow cases today i'm gonna do like a okay he's crashing into my foot i'm gonna do a navy blue navy blue pillow cases so yeah so yeah anyways I need to go to bed, okay? Because it felt like a long day. It was a long day, wasn't it? I also took a plant, the plant from our living room, just to see what it would look like there. Not with the rattan. Okay. 
okay yeah i put the plant here just to see what a plant would look like here i do want like an olive tree though i will show you guys my um i'm gonna show you guys what my inspo was i created like a little mood board when we were moving here so i'll show you guys exactly what i envisioned for in this area but definitely yeah. definitely coming along to be honest i love this i love this footstool these i got from superstore for two dollars i'm telling you i shop sale only okay um but i didn't want them here i just bought it just to see like they were two dollars why not asher and then plays with them all the time the kids play with it but uh, i bought them you know whatever i put it there i don't think i'm gonna actually leave them there Okay. In other news, I made HelloFresh again for dinner. It was actually good. Like, it was so good to the point where I inhaled my food and I couldn't even show you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna have seconds. Um, yeah, I shared out seconds. I don't know how appetizing this plate looks because it's kind of messy. But this is so yum. This is it. It's the caramelized honey garlic turkey noodles. Also, update, I had the orzo for lunch, but I kind of added like a little bit of a cream sauce to it. It was good. Anyways. Yeah, I'm going to inhale my food again because it was so good. <laughs> it actually was so good, I'm not going to lie. I was too tired today today was like today really drained me out you know the part that actually drained me out when i was like i'm fully for sure drained ikea with asher i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't he cried 80 percent of the time in ikea he cried like cried and at first i had told you guys oh yes because i left from where curtis was curtis was in the as is section i went to bedding he cried the whole way there he cried while we were there looking. He was just crying, 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 crying. Okay. And then at one point he's like, da, 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 da. So I said, okay, he's crying because Curtis. Girl, no. Because when, when we did see Curtis, he was still crying. All he wanted was come out of the um, cart. That was his actual issue. But you know in Ikea, like, no. People will trample you in there. So anyways um yeah so i was really like not gonna lie mentally exhausted okay mentally i was done i couldn't i couldn't do it no more like we got our stuff when we got out of there anyways i'm going to um call it a night okay ah! oh what are you doing Put in the garbage. Thank you. Up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Look like a mess because it was raining and I got caught in the rain. I went to go pick up Asher from daycare and it poured on me, okay? Then I put in an order earlier for um remember the pictures that i told you i want to go in asher's room and i made them um, on canva myself so i uploaded those pictures to the staples website they were only 56 cents per page for them to print as a poster so it was really good but um yeah i uploaded it to their website they said it's going to take three business days for it to be ready it was ready within an hour and something so anyways i when i picked those up but I went to the wrong staples after I picked up Asher from daycare, poured on my head some more, and then I finally got to the right staples. Still very rainy. But anyways, let me show you guys Asher's pictures that are going to go in the picture frame. They came out really good. So this is Zebra. I did one of a lion. And then... A little giraffe i'm just gonna keep it cute kind of animally type theme he already has the little lion rug 
But um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it pretty much like this until he has like an opinion, like a little style that he likes or something. But I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, right? We did order some sheets from Amazon. They didn't come yet. So that is a thing. But I'm gonna put um I'm gonna put these pictures in the frames. I probably won't hang it up in this vlog with you guys. And I remembered that I have to open up his comforter. Okay, so for now I just put the white fitted sheet on his bed. It looks like there's a stain right there, doesn't it? What? Hmm. Make a video. Okay, that's a hybrid. This is the end of this video. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna open up his honestly don't do not mind me okay don't mind my hair at all and then this is this is the comforter that we got it was from amazon as well it is one of those ones that you have to open up and let you have to let it like do its thing for 24 hours or whatever so I'm just gonna leave this here literally till tomorrow um i want to open up his blankie because i want to look at it <laughs> the one that i got from ikea i just want to see what it looks like out this is so cute look at it i love this color this color is so beautiful it's such a nice color um honestly guys i really and truly i feel like this is the end of this video because i don't have anything else for his room our amazon order is coming today it's already like a little bit later in the evening i think it's gonna come maybe like eight or nine o'clock i'm feeling tired you know i'm feeling tired well i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow but if you guys enjoyed this week's vlog please let me know down below and i'll see you guys in next week's video